Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would show you guys, do a little demo of the different bronzers that I talked about recently, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Tarte cream ones. I thought I would do like a little makeup um, tutorial. I already did my foundation, which is the Ilia Skin Tint. Oh, I also put up a blog post um, on my four tinted moisturizers with sunscreen that I'm loving this summer. So if you're looking for something really lightweight, easy, comfortable to wear, but also that has SPF. Um, I'll link that post below because that is a great post to read. I found some, I had some old favorites in there and then some new discoveries that like really blew my mind. Of course, the Ilias Skin Tint was in there, of course. Um, and then also I should mention the um, Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. The catalog comes out Friday. So I'll link my blog or the page on my blog that I'll be updating. It's got all the details for the sale, the dates, all the um, information that you need, when the different times to shop are, when it goes live, when it's early access, all that stuff. I'll link that page below as well. And okay, let's get started. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, my, whatever this is, my Sicily Blur Expert powder all over. I just like it to kind of warm up the complexion. And I already did the um, Ilia Skin Tint. I also did, um, oh my gosh, this brush is old, as you can tell. So it like literally is like, um, little bits are all over my face. It's not fun, but I still really love this brush from MAC. Um, I did my brows with the Hourglass Brow Tool. And then also um, did the Hourglass Vanish Concealer underneath. Just gonna put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. Just love this stuff. Airbrush Lowell's Powder. Just like put it down my T-zone. It's all my little fussing. <laughs> Barking over there. Don't hear anything in the background. Okay. Yes. All right, for the eyes, I'm gonna do my Tarte in Bloom palette, which I've been wearing a ton of. I just love it so much. I'm gonna do Funny Girl, just this kind of like shimmery champagne color on the lid. And that is such an easy palette to use. Oh my gosh. Just has like every color you need. Like I love it, it has like a bone shade, some like, um, there's some matte, there's some shimmer, um, liner colors, crease colors, everything. And just put that funny girl color all over the lid. Um, then I'm gonna go into the crease with this color called Smarty Pants. It's kind of like matte taupe color. And this is one of those palettes that you can literally just do an eye look in so like such a short amount of time too. You do one color on the lid. You can do like a ton of different ones. Um, so easy to use. And then I'm gonna, um, oh, I have a new mascara to show you guys. If you follow me on Insta stories or Instagram, then you know that I've already shared this mascara over there. I did like a first impressions on my Instagram stories and it was, I did not have high hopes for it. I was like, this is a weird looking mascara. Then I'm gonna take just a little bit of that bone shade um, and just go at the brow bone. Don't always, I mean, sometimes I'll do like a highlight up there, but sometimes I just like a matte shade. Okay, super simple, nothing that exciting, okay. The Urban Decay Lash Freak. This mascara is so strange. First of all, the brush, uh, the brush isn't that great. I mean, it's weird. Look at that. Isn't that weird? It gets a little clumpy. So I would recommend wiping the brush off, but the, the top of it, the front of it is um, very small. So it does a good job of like getting into the corner of your eye and getting those tiny lashes, which that's what I like about it. Um, 
but I was really impressed by this. But the formula is very, very clumpy. So I need to wipe it off and then kind of go back in. And yeah, it's like it's clumping up on me now. So, hmm, gosh, I liked it initially. And as I'm like putting it on here, I'm like, hmm, realizing how much work it is. And that's kind of annoying. I do have, like I had to use a lash comb last time when I put this on and that's, I mean, that's not ideal. You want to just like go about your business, put your mascara on. I mean, it's nice, but the formula is very wet and very thick and very clumpy. So it's like high maintenance, you know, as you're applying it versus like my Marc Jacobs at lash and it's just like, you just throw it on and you're good to go. This is not that. Hmm. I do like the finished look on my lashes, but I find, yeah, it's just, it's a little high maintenance and it's kind of annoying. All right, let me do the other eye and then we'll come back and do the bronzers. All right, mascara is done. It's nice. I mean, it does, it makes my lashes look nice and dramatic, which I love, but it's, it's like high maintenance. Um, kind of annoying that way. All right, let's first start with the Tarte Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Seashells. It's a matte formulation. Now, it's like, I use just a touch. Like sometimes I use just like whatever is on the brush. And what I love about this brush though is it literally fits right under your cheekbone. So it allows you to kind of sculpt a little bit and then, you know, buff it up as well. But the color is really, really beautiful. I, you know, and it's, for being a cream product, it's not very um, emollient. So you're not gonna really struggle with it being, um, to like sliding around or not being good for oily skin. I mean, it's great. Um, it's just, it's like the, it's almost like a creamy powder. I know, it's hard to do it like that way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I just, I love, I find it so easy to use. I mean, you can use it like on your forehead. I don't really do that too much, I know. Some people have asked me over the years, like, why don't you contour your forehead or put some color in your forehead? Your forehead's so big. Because I don't want to take the extra step. And my forehead's fine, even though it's a little bit. Um, so I really, I just find it super um, easy. And it's very, very subtle. Now, you could just directly apply it, let's say, with a brush to get more of a, a bolder or um, more intense coverage and then buff it out with this brush. But for me, obviously I'm so fair, I don't wanna do that. And then Charlotte Tilbury bronzer with the brush. I mean, I love both brushes, like which one to get, I don't know. Do you like a powder bronzer? Do you like a cream bronzer? Like, is there one that's hitting you fancy? Now this is very, very, very sheer. This is the shade um, number one. And if you are fair like me, and you worry about finding a bronzer that's light enough. Like I am, I'm comfortable with varying bronzers so they can be quite dark and it doesn't bother me because I can just use a lighter hand and I can blend it out. But if you're like, I don't even want to worry about that. I want something light that will never get too dark and that I, it's like foolproof. This is that bronzer because as you can see, I mean, it's going on so light. Now the difference between this is much more warm, so I feel like it's got much more like warmer tones, more of a bit of an orange undertone. This is very cool. This is very, um, a little more gray based and a cooler bronzer. I like both. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury compared to the Fenty, very similar. Fenty's a little bit warmer, but I love both equally. I love them all. I love all three of them because they, <laughs> They just all offer something different. And the great thing about also the cream bronzer is like I'm going, I'm putting my Laura Mercier um, highlighter on top here and it doesn't stick. 
So this is not a very emollient, I mean, the way they formulated that cream bronzer, um, especially, and for the price, I can't remember what the price is, but it is quite affordable because it's tart. I was shocked. I'm like, this is a really good cream bronzer. Um, blush, we'll do, do my Marc Jacobs, back to this, uh, Kinks and Kisses, even though I've been wearing um, Orgasm like every single day by NARS. <laughs> I just love it. This is still such a beautiful color. I'm hoping the cheeks are coming up because like in person, I'm looking at my mirror and it's, it's quite like significant. So where I feel like with my lighting, it always kind of like washes things out a bit. This look is so fresh, easy to wear. I mean, this is a great look for um, summer, especially, but this can, this is still a look that you can wear in the fall and winter. I mean, this is like an everyday, all year life look for me. This is like always what I'm going for. Where is my lip gloss? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go get uh, my lip because I obviously left it. I'll be right back. Okay, last step, lips. The Tarte H2O Gloss in the shade Villa. Ooh, this is such a good color. It's very thick, um, gives really good coverage. So I find that it lasts a little bit longer than a lot of my regular lip glosses. It really, because it's so thick and it's like more of a full coverage formula. Sticky, yes. Um, doesn't bother me, but definitely sticky. However, it lasts so long that I don't even mind. Yeah, it's such, I tried on a few different ones um, from the H2O Gloss uh, formulation. And this one I liked the most. And I thought it was the most, um, wearable for me and it's kind of a go with like any look that I could do and that's it. So um I know I do such subtle bronzer so sometimes you may be like I can't even see it but that's how I wear it and uh and if you I mean you could always go a little bit darker and more intense. There are three shades I believe in the Tarte um sorry my lip, lip gloss getting my teeth. Uh hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotta do that. There are a few shades in the Tarte bronzer. So I went with the lightest shades, seashells, um, also the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. There's a few different shades. And the bronzers, I just feel like they are really easy to use. That's what I can say about them. Even if, I mean, as a makeup artist, you would love these, but as just a regular person that wants to do their makeup every day, I find them so easy and user-friendly because they're both so sheer and they build up very easily. And both of those brushes are like key. Um, and that's it. Just make sure I have like no more lips gloss on my teeth. Okay, I will go ahead and link everything that I talked about down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, bye-bye.